Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas, and I'm in Big Bear at uh, Rover Rendezvous. And I wanted to do a first impressions video on the Ignit Fireplace Deluxe. Uh, so I just bought this the other day. It's not a sponsored video. I bought it with my own money. And uh, I'd like to give you some first impressions. I uh, rolled into camp last uh, night, uh, early afternoon, and decided to give it a try. I had a, a filet, and um, I put it on the burner, and um, it did a great job. It did flame up, but I noticed that um, the flames immediately went away. Uh, I think if you had a fatty meat like a ribeye or something, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, so I've got a Snow Peak uh, fireplace that I, I love and use, but uh, in California it's very difficult now to uh, find campgrounds or even overlanding or um, boondocking where there's not fire restrictions for wood. Unit stainless steel, um, got foldable legs and everything, has an inlet for one side for the fireplace and another inlet for the uh, barbecue. There's a small grill inside. I'll, I'll insert some pictures for you so you can see that. Uh, I will say that I anticipated being able to use the green bottles right off the bat. And uh, obviously when I got up here, figured out that that's going to require an adapter. So the adapter that comes with the uh, fire, fireplace is really just for um, standard, you know, two, three, four, five gallon propane. I read that the, um, the founders of the company actually took a sail trip with a young family and that's kind of what inspired them. Um, they've also got some really interesting products with um, electric blankets, uh, they have propane tanks that you can carry in your vehicle. And um, kind of what I like to do with this is just, if I roll into camp and I want to sit out and have a, a drink or a beer or something before I go to bed. It's nice to have some ambience, but um, another really good thing about them is turn them off. Don't have to douse them down with water. Or worry about um, you know causing a fire. The 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 uh, can itself uh, really cools off very quickly. So um, very happy with that. Uh, the deluxe model features a stainless a stainless steel frame tray insert for perfect uh, cooking temperatures. Um, it has a, a flame adjustment control on the propane hose. Um, I found that the low setting was really much higher heat than you could imagine. So I think I would start there and, um, you know, move up the flame from there. Uh, the way it works is there's three uh, tubes that run through the can. The middle tube is offset so that the burner is not pointing up. Uh, it's off to the side so that the flame up is a lot less possible and then the two outside are for the fire uh, the fire pit uh, as I said before compact and durable with a collapsible legs and removable lid easy setup and takedown I understand that this lid doesn't have um, a rubber gasket on it because obviously you're going to put this on maybe when the uh, the fire is burning uh, it comes with a five foot quick release hose for your propane tank. The weight is 13.8 lebs. Uh, BTU is 38,000. And available for separate purchase are fire can rocks or moon rocks. I find um, that while they probably give a little bit better ambience, I just don't want the additional weight. Plus the nice thing with this can is um, both the grill um, container the grill itself and the hose fit right in here so you don't have anything extra. And if you had the fire rocks, then you're going to either have to take them out and uh, replace them or you're going to have to mess with it. So um, I'll do it with a little bit less ambience and make it a little bit more functional. So like all these, I will do a longer term review once I've had this uh, fire can for a bit. And uh, stay tuned or subscribe to the channel to see those. And um, I did use the Volcano Grill for quite a while, which I think and still recommend. I've done a video, which I'll link to you in the remarks. 
but um, this thing wins out and it's much smaller and uh, is loaded down as the LR4 is with all the kit that I'm carrying. Um, everything can be smaller is a good thing. So I hope you've liked this, uh, this first impressions video. Um, if you have, consider liking or subscribing to the channel. If you see me out and about on the trails, be sure to stop and say hi. And remember, get outdoors.